I'm Alberto Mascaro. I'm the National Sales Director here at Boost Oxygen. I've been at Boost Oxygen since 2019, so pretty much the new kid on the block. I'm originally from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, uh, then moved to Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Uh, I did my high school years at Burn Catholic High School in Oradell, New Jersey, and then went on to get my uh, degree in business management from Franklin Marshall College in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, uh, where I was also uh, on the football team and was a two-time captain and two-time All-America. And in 2018, I had the distinct privilege of being inducted into their Athletic Hall of Fame. Since my playing days, uh, I've tried to remain active, so I do enjoy physical fitness. I uh, do 10Ks, 5Ks, uh, run a couple half marathons, like to go to the gym and work out. Uh, and one of the funnest things I ever did was actually the Grand Circle Trail Fest. Uh, it's one of our partners called Vacation Races. And in this particular race, you run three half marathons, three days in a row. It's all trail running, and you run some, through some of the most amazing scenery you're ever going to see. So this particular year, it was Bryce Canyon, Zion National Park, and Horseshoe Bend. Um, extremely challenging, but uh, really amazing from scenery and uh, the amount of people that were there just enjoying the outdoors and enjoying some trail running. I also compete in obstacle course racing, so uh, Spartan races, Tough Mudders, that type of stuff. I enjoy doing those as well. Also in my free time, uh, my wife and I enjoy traveling. So we travel all over Europe. Uh, I've been to a lot of points in South America, all over the United States. Actually, one of the coolest places we ever went was on our honeymoon, where we went to Machu Picchu in Peru. And to get to Machu Picchu in Peru, you have to go through Cusco, which is at just over 11,000 feet. Uh, and believe me, when you're at that altitude, I wish in 1995 there was such a thing called boost oxygen in my life. Upon graduating college, I began my career in the beer and wine industry in uh, New York City. Uh, I spent a few years there before moving to Miami, which is where I reside now. I've been here for about 25 years, and I live here with my wife and two daughters. So I guess at this point, I'm pretty much a uh, Miamian by default. Uh, when, when I moved to Miami, I continued in the beer industry for a few more years. And then I had an interesting opportunity to do some international work. And I went to work for a company called Granger Industrial Parts and Supplies. And I worked in their international division, specifically Latin America. So I traveled all over South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Uh, after spending about five years there, I had a very interesting and unique opportunity. And I was asked by the administration of President George W. Bush to go work for the Office of Cuba Broadcasting as their chief of staff. Uh, Office of Cuba Broadcasting is the branch of the U.S. government that runs Radio and TV Marti. And Radio and TV Marti's mission is to deliver news and information to the people of Cuba. After five years or so with the Office of Cuba Broadcasting, uh, doing some really wonderful work with uh, incredible people, I was asked to lead the Latin American division of the Voice of America. Uh, for those who remember your history, Voice of America was founded back in 1942 during World War II, and they're in charge of all non-military broadcasting uh, throughout the world. Um, currently, they broadcast in 47 languages, uh, and I was asked to lead the Latin America division, um, which consisted of the Spanish-speaking service and the Creole service broadcasting to Haiti. So again, I was back on the road traveling all over uh, Central and South America, as well as the Caribbean. And after doing that uh, for about another five years or so, and uh, being on the road quite a bit, being a true road warrior, I uh, decided it was time for a change and actually joined my father, who had his own Hispanic marketing consulting firm, uh, which he started in New York City and moved it down to Miami, Florida. Uh, and upon joining him, we expanded our services to include uh, sales training, uh, sales consulting, business development services, as well as some private equity work and operational consulting, helping companies expand their presence, uh, run leaner and more efficiently in any phase of their business. So at this point in the story is when Boost Oxygen pops up on my radar. So a little bit of background there, uh, our CEO, Rob Nooner, and myself uh, from the same town in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, and ended up going to the same high school, Burbank Catholic High School. And our alumni Twitter feed posted that his company, Boost Oxygen, was going to be on Shark Tank now in this household. Shark Tank is normal viewing. And I remembered at that point that uh, our alumni magazine had also put out an article a couple of years ago talking about Boost Oxygen and Rob. And I remember thinking at that point, wow, what an interesting concept, canister supplemental oxygen. Um, having been active all my life, as I said earlier, 
uh, I could definitely understand the uses of supplemental oxygen for a number of reasons. So, um, like I said, reach out to him and sent him a message, say, hey, Rob, super cool. I saw you guys are going to be on Shark Tank. Uh, congratulations. I look forward to watching the episode. He said, immediately responded and said, hey, you know, how you been? Great to hear from you. Yeah, please watch the episode. So, episode aired a few weeks later. Saw the episode. They got their deal with uh, Kevin O'Leary. And I reached back out to him again and said, hey, Rob, congratulations. Uh, super happy for you. Um, you know, what a great opportunity. So at that point, it's kind of, you know, began the, well, what have you been up to for the last 30 years? Uh, so it's all about my experience in sales and marketing and everything I've been doing. And uh, he mentioned that he was going to be in Fort Lauderdale uh, a few weeks. And if I would be willing to go up and sit down with him for a little while. So, of course, I said yes. Just nothing else to catch up with an old friend. And so we met, sat down, and he started telling me about Boost Oxygen and the trajectory and their growth and everything they have been doing to date and their plans for the future. Up until this point, sales were being run by Rob and our CEO, Mike Rice. But as he explained, as they got bigger and continued to expand, they realized they just didn't have the bandwidth anymore and they needed literally another extra pair of hands to help out. And specifically, they were looking for a national sales director. So we continued speaking and we realized that there was definitely synergies there. And Rob asked me to come on board as their national sales director. Uh, which I accepted happily, and I've been here since 2019. I'm charged with making sure that all our sales functions are working cohesively together and moving in the right direction. So whether it be our distributor partners, our brokers, our in-house sales force to our independence rep force, I want to make sure that we are all working cohesively together and not stepping on each other's toes, because uh, all that does is create confusion in the marketplace. And that's one of the things that I really love about Boost Oxygen is the fact that we can service so many different uh, verticals. And at the same time, uh, also realizing that we can help so many people across such a wide variety, whether you're an athlete, uh, you're a senior, whether you have some type of mild respiratory issue where you can benefit from supplemental oxygen, uh, or whether you're somebody just trying to recover from a hangover. Uh, we service so many different types of people that it's uh, incredibly rewarding that I found a product which helps so many. Uh, and as our slogan says, help is here. And that's what we're, what we're really about at Boost Oxygen. We're here to help everybody understand and appreciate uh, the benefits of supplemental oxygen. Uh, I've done a lot of different things in my life. I've been a lot of places, uh, represented a lot of different products. Uh, done a lot of different things in my life. And um, this one is really one that I feel extremely passionate about because, as I mentioned before, um, it helps people. And to me, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Uh, helping be able to help someone lead a better life, uh, an all-natural respiratory product like this that can help so many people in so many different ways. Um, I'm just proud to be part of it. So um, thank you to all the people that make Boost Oxygen Hum, that's our staff, uh, our back office staff, our warehouse staff, our reps, our executives. Um, you know, they're the people that really make Boost Oxygen go, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Um, th there's a lot of runway here for Boost Oxygen, and I really think that we can make a huge splash and a huge difference uh, in this world with uh, so many issues that people run into on a daily basis where a little bit of oxygen can really go a long way. So uh, thank you for listening. I appreciate your time and I hope to meet some of you soon.